Hello, this is Algebra 1, Topic 4-4, on the surface area of cones and spheres. And so, uh, it talks about using the uh, mathematics chart. I'm just going to go ahead and do these off of memory. Uh, for a cone, the lateral is pi times the radius times the slant height. And for the total surface area, we start with pi times the radius times the slant height, and we add pi r squared. Now, the lateral area excludes the base. And L, I use my L's like this, they wrote this L, but L tells you the slant height. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and break down the parts of a cone so we know height, slant height, base, and all of this. So this right here, from the center of the base to the vertex of the cone, is called the height. However, if we draw a straight line from the edge of the circle to the vertex, we call this the slant height. And the radius of our circle is still the radius. So height, slant height, and radius. Let's go ahead and do our first example. All right, well, they give us all the information, so we don't need to worry about it. And it wants this to the nearest tenth. So, our lateral surface area, that would be pi times our radius times our slant height. Well, that's 3.14 times our radius of 3 times our slant height of 6. And that equals 56.52. Now for our total, we're going to start with our 56.52. And we're going to add pi times our radius squared. So... 56.52 plus 3.14 times our radius of 3 squared gives us 84.78. And that is our total surface area. Let's go ahead and move to the next page and example number 2. For lateral, we want pi times the radius times the slant height, 3.14 times 6 times 10. 3.14 times 6 times 10 gives us 188.4. Then for our total, we're going to start with a 188.4 and add 2 times 3.14 uh, times our radius of 6 squared. So we're going to add 2 times 3.14 times 6 squared. And that gives us 414.48. So that is for a cone. <coughs> now we're going to be talking about a sphere. Well, there is no lateral and total for a sphere because there is no base to a sphere. It's just all one surface. And that formula would be 4 pi r squared. So to find the surface area of our square, it says nearest hundredth, so that's two decimal places. 
Um, this one up here, it was tenths, and the 4, 8 simply turns into a 5. Because that was for tenths. Now we're doing hundredths. So we need 4 times 3.14 times our radius of 4 squared. So we do 4 times 3.14 times 4 squared gives us 200.96, which is 201. But now this says in terms of pi, so here we're going to leave the pi out of it. So 4 times 4 squared makes 64 pi. A hundredth is right there. Go ahead and move on to our next example. And the last one for this, we're looking at 4 pi r squared. Well, its diameter is 12, which means that the radius is 6. And we want to use 3.14. So 4 times 3.14 times 6 squared. equals 452.16. And that is our answer. So very simple. Uh, you just have three formulas today. Uh, all you need to do is write the formulas, plug in the numbers, and solve. Uh, Always look to see if they want you to keep it in terms of pi or not pi, because that's going to change what answer is the correct answer. Good luck on your assignment, and have a good day.